Why is the caucus important and it's significant? Because we are here to represent a Latino community. It's important because it gives us a voice. We need to have a voice here in Springfield, the same way we need to have a voice in the city council, have a voice in the county, uh, have a voice in other municipalities, because we are the, grower, the fastest growing population. I think one of the biggest of accomplishments, though, of the Latino Caucus is actually forming the Latino Caucus. The caucus has uh, been to bring the issues of the Latino community uh, to the attention of the legislature uh, we work to ensure that Illinois knows the issues that uh, are affecting the Latino community. It's all of us coming together and working hard on the issues. The driver's license bill, that's one of our priorities that we had, you know, spearheaded and really worked on very hard. It was a struggle, a long struggle. We started in 03. It was been an uphill battle to get the bill passed out of the Senate. Lots of meetings, lots of community outreach. It was a very hard bill to pass, but at the end, let me tell you, we were emotional. I was very proud to be part of the beginning of that legislation and commend Representative Eddie Acevedo for taking it all the way to where we now have a driver's license for uh, immigrants that will be implemented very soon. Oh, that was definitely a group effort. But we came together and we finally got it done. And that's what the caucus is about. We're working together. Well, the caucus worked together because we're all Latinos and we're all one. For us being able to talk to our colleagues uh, in each of our chambers, I think really helped us. And as a Latino caucus, I think that with the Chambers of Commerce, we need to work together and we need to really open up the lines of communication and try to bring in more diversity when it comes to the funds that go out from the state. It's great to know that we have an organization that's willing to work with us and we can partner on different things to make sure that everyone gets a piece of the pie. But I want to increase the, the amount of participation for Latino companies. Our Latino companies are still not at the number they should be today. The importance that the chamber has with the, with the legislature is to make sure that we find ways of, of, uh, of finding dollars that can, uh, that, can, they, that can fund these programs. I think the chamber's role in helping businesses in Illinois is very important. I know working together, we get to pass legislation that helps to bring more diversity when it comes to state contracts. Well, I think the work that the Chamber does is a great job. Open your eyes, open them wide, because the Hispanic Chamber is one uh, of, of national and international prominency. The Hispanic Chamber has shown a unity where uh, businessmen and women have come together uh, working with legislators to make sure that we have uh, a fair share of projects that occur here in Illinois and we are not going to be the forgotten minority any longer. The time is here, the time is now to make the change. Latinos are here and we're, we have a voice now and we are going to be heard during election time. We are the Hispanic community's voice in Springfield and in Illinois. Every day we work to ensure our community is front and center. For education. For health care. For housing for issues of immigration, for equal access, for jobs and economic development. Cesar Chavez said once social change begins, it cannot be reversed. You cannot uneducate the person who has learned to read. You cannot humiliate the person who feels the pride. You cannot oppress the people who are not afraid anymore. We are the Latino Caucus. 